The following program depicts a hypothetical dirty bomb explosion and its aftermath. Lisa! Get Aaron! 40 minutes after the dirty bomb blast, Portland is in chaos. Many refuse to wait for instruction and take matters into their own hands. Local, state, and federal officials have to get the word out to people so that they tell them what the real potential consequences are. And as an average person, you have no way of measuring radiation, so you don't know if you're safe or not. Details of the explosion are still coming in. Four blocks north of the blast site, a pregnant Karen Smith watches the news with her one-year-old child. State officials don't know yet how far the radiation spread or how strong it is. Until they do, they recommend that Portland residents stay inside with windows shut. We want to keep what's outside out and keep what's inside um, fresh and clean of the radioactive contamination. But dust from the bomb penetrated Karen's apartment 25 minutes ago. Her kitchen's already been contaminated. Come on. Karen, hi, this is me. I Meanwhile, her husband across town tries contacting her, um, but cell phone phone. networks are jammed. At ground zero, first responders have found 30 dead and some 80 wounded. They prep the severely injured man they call John Doe for the hospital. One of the first things they're going to do when they're treating an injured victim is they're going to remove their clothing. And there's ways of removing the clothing so that you can limit the spread of contamination. You want to make sure that you are not contaminating your hospitals and your ambulances to the best of your ability. Downwind of the blast, firemen set up a decontamination tent to remove external contamination radioactive particles on clothing, skin, and hair. Victims who aren't seriously injured must wait their turn. You want to make sure that you're treating the people who are potentially most contaminated with your most rigorous decontamination technology. Those may be the ones that were covered with potentially contaminated dust and smoke. Those are the ones that probably need the full wet decon. Full wet decon means stripping down sealing clothes in a bag and showering. This can remove almost all surface radioactive contamination. The decontamination process here is not about scrubbing. You want to be careful not to abrade the skin. If you abrade that barrier, you can actually be letting radioactive material into your body. Following the advice of public health officials, Karen showers with her child. But this does nothing if they've already swallowed or inhaled radioactive particles. We know that the young are more sensitive to this radiation than the adults are, so we would be concerned about the young. And for the fetus, for the unborn, we would be concerned about organ formation during certain parts of the pregnancy. The apartment still contains trace amounts of radioactivity, and mother and child are sealed inside. 